So this particular skill is cleaning up um, a blood spill. So you see, unfortunately, we've had a little bit of an accident where we've got um, some blood on the, on the counter. So this is a uh, bloodborne pathogen issue that we need to manage and manage safely. Uh, we use our universal precautions, meaning that we're treating all bodily fluids um, as contaminated. So we wanna make sure that we use the appropriate uh, procedures to be able to clean this um, area up. Fortunately, no one has touched it right now, so it's fairly well contained right here. We just need to make sure that we clean it up um, appropriately. Now there's a number of different uh, um, kind of pieces of equipment that are helpful. Uh, most of the stuff that I have actually comes self-contained in this little packet here, uh, which has um, gloves, it has towels, it has a whole host of things to be able to actually kind of clean that particular surface up. And so what we're just gonna do is we're gonna kind of demonstrate uh, what that looks like. Uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do because we're gonna be utilizing our hands is we're gonna put on our gloves, make sure that we've got uh, those secured. Now, depending on the size of the spill, really kind of, you know, helps to, you know, decide, you know, how you actually want to kind of clean this particular up, up area up. So if I just had these like three little blood droplets there, that's not really a huge problem. I would just spray it and disinfect it, wipe it up with some gauze and uh, dispose those in our appropriate uh, biohazard container. This particular spot though is a little bit larger and might be a little bit more problematic for me to be able to clean it up, especially if this was on the surface of a gym floor. Um, if I started wiping it, it might um, smear around quite a bit and that becomes um, much more problematic to be, able to be able to take care of. So one of the things that I can use is I can use what's called a uh, fluid solidifier. Um, so this is just a little power, powder type substance. And so I'm gonna open this up and I'm actually just going to spread it over the actual um, uh, fluid. And what it does is it actually absorbs quite a bit of um, the moisture um, actually out of that particular area. Now, I'm certainly gonna have to clean you know, some of this up in terms of um, uh, kind of the, uh, I'm still gonna have to spray it down, but at least it allows it to be you know, cleaned up in a fairly easy you know, fashion. So in that particular bag, I got a couple of small tools. One is a little bit of a, a little shovel and the other is just a scraper. So you can see now how it's just, it's you know, really kind of balled that up and it's actually kind of turned that you know, much more into a powder and fairly easy to actually kind of clean up um, that you know, clean up off that particular surface. Now this is not usable again, uh, but I've um, done this as kind of my one-time thing, place it in my biohazard container, and now I can clean up the rest of the particular um, surface area. Now I'm demonstrating um, a number of different uh, products that you can actually use. You've got um, a pre, uh, pre-mixed uh, uh, hand wipe that has germicidal solution in there. Um, you could use this to wipe it up as well, or you could use um, also um, different type of a mix. I've got two types of mixes here. Uh, this is a particular solution that um, dis disinfects and kills um, any type of bloodborne pathogen, and it's also safe for fabrics. Um, it's called OptiCare. Uh, we used to use Sanazine, uh, but there's all kinds of different commercial products that are um, out there as well. Uh, this particular solution is just straight bleach solution. Uh, it's 10% bleach, which means that this bottle is um, 100 uh, fluid ounces. So we fill it up with 10 fluid ounces of bleach first, fill the rest of it up with water, shake it up. And now this is a very good disinfecting solution um, for surfaces. Uh, it's cheap, it's easy to use. The problem is, is that uh, you don't really wanna do this on soft surfaces like fabrics. So if it's on the carpet or on a jersey, uh, that's not something that you wanna do, but any hard surface, this is totally appropriate. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and I'm going to spray generally over the entire area, making sure that it's plenty, uh, good and soaked. And now I wanna sit and just wait. So that's gonna spend some time uh, killing off any of the bloodborne path pathogens that's in there. The longer you let it sit, the better. Um, many times when these blood situations are in the middle of some type of competition or game, so you don't want to let it you know, wait for like five to 10 minutes, 
Typically about a minute is the, the appropriate length of time to be able to uh, uh, <coughs> disinfect everything. So now we're just gonna take your disposable towel, make sure that you're wiping the entire surface up and cleaning the area. <coughs> Ideally keeping it all good and contained. You need even want to grab some of your wetted wipes to just to make sure the entire surface is cleaned and picked up. Okay. Once that's in, you can go ahead and take your gloves off. Uh, and that's a separate skill uh, that you can watch the video for. Once those are up and in, this can be cinched up tight, everything's cleaned and disinfected, and you're ready to go.